Hello, my name is Casey Pervert, and today, uh, for this book talk, I'm going to be discussing um, the theme of overcoming prejudice and also standing up for yourself and others and your beliefs. And the three books we're going to be discussing are, this time will be different, Yes, if Asim is not a hero, and Where I Belong. And all three of these characters um, are people of color and are also um, family of immigrants. And overall, their, story, their stories are very interesting. So, the first book we're going to be discussing is This Time Will Be Different. So, Kutsuyama's never quit, but 17 year old CJ doesn't even know where to start. She's never lived up to her mom's type A ambition, and she's perfectly happy helping her Aunt Hannah at their family's flower shop. She doesn't buy into Hannah's romantic ideas about flowers and their hidden meanings. But when it comes to arranging the perfect bouquet, CJ discovers she has a knack she never knew she had. A skill she might even be proud of. Then her mom decides to sell the shop to the family who swindled CJ's grandparents when thousands of Japanese Americans were sent to internment camps during World War II. Soon a rift threatens to splinter CJ's family, friends, and the entire North Northern California community. And for the first time, CJ has found something she wants to fight for. Um, this story is very interesting. Um, there's one scene that I think sort of shows um, the CJ, the main character, this is CJ, um, shows her fighting for what she believed that there are several scenes. Um, but there's one scene where she um, flower bombs the McAllister um, office area. Um, and flower bombing is where you just take flowers and you just put it all over the place. Um, and then there's another scene in the book where she and her mother are, um, discussing, um, sort of, like, what's going on and why CJ feels her mother isn't standing up for herself and her family. And they get into an argument about it, and it's really interesting because it sort of, sort of shows um, their dynamic and how CJ thinks of her mother one way and her mother thinks of CJ another way and it's it's very interesting and I enjoyed the book I would recommend you reading it. The next book that we're going to discuss which was my favorite out of the three is Yosef Asim is not a hero. So, And this is Yosef. Yosef Asim has spent all his life in the small town of Frey, Texas, and nearly that long waiting for a chance to participate in the regional robotics competition, which he's sure he can win. Only this year, it's going to be more difficult than he thought, because this year is the 20th anniversary of the 9-11 terrorist attacks, an anniversary that has everyone in his Muslim community on edge. With never forget banners everywhere and a hostile group of townspeople protesting the new mosque, Yosef realizes that the country's anger from nearly two decades ago has not gone away. Can he hold on to his joy and his friendship in the face of heartache and prejudice? You should read it to find out. But, in all seriousness, um, the really big events that Yosef faces throughout the book, um, and Something that's interesting before I get into that is his uncle um, gives him his journal, which he sort of uses as a guide. His uncle started writing the journal um, about a month after the 9-11 attacks, um, and it's just a very interesting perspective. But um, something that, a scene that's really interesting is at the beginning of the book, Yosef finds a bunch of um, go-home notes written in his locker, and as we read, we find out that it was someone who Yosef thought was his friend who wrote all these threatening notes for the group 
the Patriot Sons. And it's just very interesting overall. And as you read the book, you find that Yosef is, in fact, a hero. And it's really good. I really enjoyed it. And the last book that we are discussing is Where I Belong. It's this one. And it's about Millie Vargos. And it's a really pretty cover, but that's not as important. So... In the spring of 2018, Guatemalan American high school senior Millie Vargas excuse me, knows her life is about to change. She's lived in Corpus Christi, Texas ever since her parents sought asylum there when she was a baby. Now a citizen, Millie devotes herself to school and caring for her younger siblings, while her mom works as a housekeeper for the wealthy Wheeler family. With college on the horizon, Millie is torn between attending this, her dream school and, and staying close to home, where she knows she's needed. She's disturbed, disturbed by what's happening to asylum seekers at the U.S. America, at the U.S. Mexican border, but she doesn't see herself as an activist or a change maker. She's trying to take care of her own family. Then, Mr. Wheeler, a U.S. Senate candidate mentions Millie's achievements in a campaign speech about deserving immigrants. It doesn't take long for people to identify Millie's family and place them at the center of a statewide immigration debate. Faced with journalists, trolls, anonymous threats, and the Wheeler's good intentions, Millie must confront the complexity of her past, uncertainty of her future, and her place in the country that she believed was her home. So, this book is really interesting as well, and some of the things that Millie has to face, um, similar to Yosef, is she also received several um, anonymous hate notes in her locker, and towards the end of the book, she um, discusses her the um, complex relationship dynamics between herself and um, Charlie, who is the Wheeler's son. And she's sort of trying to find where she belongs as well as deal with all these other things that are happening around her and in the world. And it's just very interesting. And so again, the books are, this time will be different. Yosef Asim is not a hero and where I belong. And can I hold it? I can. And in all three of these books, um, each character discusses sort of prejudice that they have to deal with as people of color, but they also um, stand up for themselves, their families, and others. And overall, it's they're all really good books. I would highly recommend them. Thank you.